OK, another wet day out there for us with more of the rain and also looks like the showers are continuing on into the night and we'll see some tomorrow too. So keep the umbrellas and the rain gear all handy with you before you head out the door tomorrow. But we do start to clear out and dry out by tomorrow evening and we'll get into that just a bit. Temperature wise though, highs in the 70s yesterday, our low was at 62. Today it was a bit closer to this number where we should be for this time of the year, which is at 70 degrees. Our low though, not really quite into that yet. But here's a look at today's highs: 67, just a little cooler than average. 73 in Iron Mountain, lower 70s in Ontonagon and in Houghton, while at 73 in Munising and Manistique, also at 73. Winds right now pretty light out there. Three in Marquette, while at four in Munising. Call right now the hour in Ironwood and at eight out of the Northeast in Houghton. So wind shouldn't be too much of a factor for us throughout the night, but by tomorrow it starts to change back out of the southwest and that's going to help things warm up but just a little more. But tonight you're going to want to watch out for those showers tomorrow. The rain and the clouds, they eventually get out of here after still staying around for early tomorrow morning. But after they get out of here, well, we start to clear out and really dry out by tomorrow night and Friday. Looks to be beautiful for us, but that weather doesn't last for that long. By Saturday, another wave of rain looks to be on its way in. Here's a look at our setup. Showers and storms all across the northern tier of the Great Lakes. It looks like we'll keep another wave in place as we go on into the day tomorrow. You can see the jet stream just over ahead of us right now, and it looks to be starting to work its way a little farther to the north as we get on into tomorrow afternoon. And Friday shouldn't be too bad for us, but then another cooler one, cool day does await us heading on to Saturday. But the rain and showers should be heading their way out of here for tomorrow, and then by Saturday heading on into the weekend. That's when our next chance of rain will come in. The jet stream starts to dip back down, but afterwards we warm back up and then. And we start to fall back down yet again. So kind of a roller coaster ride when it comes to our temperatures heading over the next seven day period. And you'll take a look at that here in your seven day forecast. But this evening skies featuring showers here and there. We'll see more of those lighter showers on into the day tomorrow. Clearing out for tomorrow night. Friday should be quiet and nice and sunny for us. And then we'll head on into Friday evening and heading on into Saturday. And that's when our next chance of rain does arrive in from the southwest. Tonight, it looks like we'll dip down into those lower 60s, right around 61 here in Marquette with winds that should be mostly on the light side. More of the clouds and rain in place, and it looks like we'll see more of that as we head on into early tomorrow. But it does come to an end for us eventually, and we do start to see more of that clearing heading on into the evening. Winds out of the southwest tomorrow around 10 to 15. High temperatures, 71 in Launce at 72 in Ontonagon. Upper 70 showing up in Crystal Falls and in Iron Mountain, 76 in Escanaba and Manistique. Munising will top off at 75. And here in Marquette, we're expecting a high of 73. The forecast tomorrow does feature more of that rain earlier on. High temperatures reaching those 70s. And then tomorrow night, expecting more of the 50s for overnight lows as we really begin to clear out. Sunrise tomorrow morning around 720 a.m. Your forecast over the next seven days, well, we do see rain at least over the next three or at least two of the next three days. Friday, we do get a break with more of that sunshine and highs in the middle 70s. A bit on the cooler side with showers and storms coming in on Saturday. Our highs right at 61 degrees. Sunday will top off at 70, so beginning to warm up once again there. Monday will be back up to 73 and then noticing more of a drop off as we head on into next Tuesday and Wednesday. So as I was mentioning before, yes, we do start to see more of a roller coaster ride when our with our temperatures over the next few days, closer to where we should be for this time of the year, but definitely feeling more like fall as we get into the latter portion of the seven day period. Tuesday and Wednesday highs only in the 60s and not only just during the day is it cool, but we'll see those nights begin to cool off too, back down in the 40s.